So in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the IV arm. In order to work with the IV arm to prep it uh, to be filled, um, the easiest thing to do, the best thing to do is to remove the arm from the mannequin. So to take the uh, arm off, here's the pin that you use, comes in the box. So what we do is pull the arm out to expose the piston and there's a hole there. We're going to insert the pin in the hole of the piston as a retaining clip. That will hold that out. Now the mannequin is hooked on by a loop so the easiest way to get to that loop we're going to push in straight and that takes that that loop off of the horizontal pin and then we're going to lift straight up and the mannequin comes off so now we have the IV arm off it's a four channel arm uh, three of these channels are veins. One is an artery. The artery is the radial artery. Um, in order to fill up this reservoir, you disconnect this hose, flip up the lever, and then use a syringe and another hose it says a 260 ml reservoir. Once you see the reservoir is filled up these channels, you'll then come down to the bottom of the veins, uh, an artery with a syringe and a needle, insert and bleed off the air until you get all the air out and then this arm is ready to be used. Maximum size gauge needles and IV would be 20 gauge. The uh, Keep in mind the skin of the arm which is replaceable is natural latex and the veins and artery set are also replaceable also natural latex. You want to keep them out of sunlight, UVA, UVB light, um, makes latex degrade and get sticky. Um, it's also recommended to um, empty it after each use. So for more detailed instructions there's a written manual that comes with uh, each mannequin that has an IV arm. Um, all the mannequins you can add an IV arm as an option and um, it uh, gets into detailed drawings and explanations on how to maintain this arm. 